But the thing is, where are cryptos right now? They, they are like, <laughs> does anyone remember these AOL CDs back in the 90s? I used to hoard them and like, well, oh yeah, I've got another 50 hours of free internet or, or, or 500 hours of internet. Um, cryptos right now is like AOL. Back then, AOL ruled the internet scene. They were the internet pretty much. And they sent out tens of millions of these CDs. They, they spent a ridiculous amount of money on them. Why did, and why did they do that? It was a power grab. It was a, it was a network grab. They saw this virgin territory untouched. And they're like, right, CD, CD, CD. They, they, they wanted to own that network. It always comes back to the network rulers. And that's where cryptos are right now. It's a virgin territory. That's why we're seeing all the ICOs out there and all the scams galore. Um, and, and basically, every bank has a blockchain innovation department. We, everyone is trying, it's like we've just found America for the first time, and everyone is now launching their ship to try and hit it. But some of us will land in Greenland, some in Mexico, some in Cuba. Very few will actually hit the, the sacred land, so to speak. Um, and it's like, I mean, back in those days, it took four minutes to load a freaking web page. Um, and right now, like, give it five years, the thought of waiting up to two hours for a bank transfer, backs, or not being able to transfer money on a Sunday, Will, will seem archaic. Even right now, I, I think that's a piece of rubbish. Like, why do I, why can I not move anything on a Sunday? Um, I once, <laughs> it was really bad, uh, I had to pay, I had to do payroll on a month, on a Friday, and I got distracted, and I, and I couldn't, and I forgot. It was Saturday morning, I was like, shit, all my staff haven't been paid. It was a really bad mistake. Um, and I tried to do it, and no one could get paid. And so, unfortunately, in fact, Matty, my videographer, <laughs> experienced it because he had, like, he had direct debits coming out on the first of the month, and the money didn't hit. And so, like, that should never happen. Um, yeah, we should be able to 24-7 move money because that's what we're getting. That's one of the, the, the main use cases of crypto is it's sovereign, um, sovereign um, economics. You own your own shit. Um, and right now, the things that we're, we're playing around with right now are AOL, Netscape, and AltaVista. Go, like Google, I remember AltaVistaing all of the time. However, I never said, oh, I'm just going to AltaVista that. But um, <laughs> there weren't enough people. And a lot of people, in fact, I'm pretty sure, with an audience of this size, of what, seven, 800 of you, that there, um, there will be one person here. At, at the very least, one person who sat there like this, going, this is all bollocks. You're a charlatan, blah, blah, blah. And, and one of the questions I get all the time is, who the hell are you going to send your electronic money to? The middle one is what an off-chain scaling solution would make Bitcoin look like. You, you, you'd have certain nodes which are choke points. And then the one on the far, um, well, your far right is a proper decentralized network. Um, so yeah, off-chain scaling solutions, mm, not necessarily the future. Um, and don't forget, like with VHS, we had like Betamax, which was technically a better version. And yeah, so this is what I believe the, the minimum prerequisite should be. <coughs> instant transaction fees, zero transaction fees. Oh, sorry, instant transactions, zero transaction fees, unlimited scalability, effortless cross-chain interoperability, because we're going to have loads of different uh, blockchains out there all speaking a different language. We need to have sort of a universal translator, which they can just... Uh, uh, basically seamlessly integrate with. Microtransactions enabled, uh, and that's mainly for the, when the Internet of Things start kicking off. S smart contracts enabled. I mean, hell, just having setting up a direct debit. At the moment, I, it's an absolute chore setting up a direct debit with your Bitcoin. You can do it on your online banking, but at the moment, it's, it's a bit of a chore. And Oh, yeah, no choke points. I mean, Ethereum technically is a decentralized network, but really, mm, there is a choke point there. What do you think would happen to Ethereum if Vitalik Buterin disappeared or died? It would be in trouble, wouldn't it? The price definitely would shoot down, and the crypto shouldn't have that.